hopefully we can do this in one take um i am terribly sorry about yesterday's video um i didn't realize that uh, the audio was that bad um mostly because apparently my video got corrupted at the end of the edit in sony vegas and it lost the audio track apparently so yeah anyway long story short i apologize for that guys it was very unprofessional with me um i am in the process of getting ready to take that video down and po post it back up with this one this is technically not a re-upload it's more of a um retcon there we go um and yes i do have a coffee here so get ready for a bit of a rant um this rant is going to be more streamlined than my previous video so it's going to be a lot quicker than the other video that went up but long story short um as some of you know i play games workshop I play uh, Warhammer 40,000. I used to play old school Warhammer Fantasy. It's now Age of Sigma. Um, Age of Sigma has lost me. I'm sorry, but it's lost me. Um, I want to go back to the old world. Um, I, I miss my Vampire Counts army. I miss my Undead army being two separate factions. Okay. Case in point. Uh, and I also miss uh, my Chaos Warbands. Um, oh, and, and Dogs of War. That's how old I am. If some of you can remember what the Dogs of War units was. Uh, basically, they were mercenaries. It's an entire mercenary army. Um, not mercenary units. Mercenary army. Your your uh, um, HQ was a dis, dis, dishonored king or whatever. You know, he has a background story. But he could hire... Uh, giants, trolls, orcs, um, 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 necromancers. He, he could, he could hire a, a a chaos sorcerer, but your army's not chaos. He's literally because he's a dogs of war. He he shoots out a little message on on the medieval Facebook and say, hey, look, listen, um, I need a a, a, a whole bunch of hey, malice darkblade. There you go. If you don't know who who malice darkblade is, malice darkblade was a dark elf um who was cursed by the chaos uh, by a chaos god um and was possessed by a demon and um he was constantly having the having conversations in his head with this demon and nine times out of ten he bitch yell out shut up demon and people were like what the hell's wrong with that dark elf you know um but he started up his own dogs of war army um but like i said um i miss old school fantasy I miss old school Mordheim. I I would love to see Mordheim make a comeback. I would. Or um, take the rules from Inquisitor, the old school original 54 mil uh, tabletop game, because that was awesome. The miniatures, not so much, because they were all uh, um, um, pewter. They were all metal. And um, I'm pretty sure GW could make plastic ones, or better yet, we could 3D print our own, you know? Um to much better detail um and bring back those skirmish games they've got their border action skirmish game system and i i mean i get it it means that they can do soft launches of the newer armies like the, the skitari the the um uh, uh the um, renegade guardsmen models and things like that and whatnot they can they can do soft launches of the cake a uh, 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 death guard of Cree, uh, uh, um the death guard of Cree, the the <sighs> wrongs with the gas masks anyway the, the imperial guard uh death corps corpse death corps of Cree. um they can do soft plastic launched ranges of those see how they like tasters to see how they would take off so it's, it's smart it really is but that as a game system is going to go nowhere absolutely nowhere okay i'm telling you right now um gw have got too many fingers and too many toes and too many pies um they want to be the top dog but not realize that you have to maintain your range Blood Bowl, anyone? Mordheim, anyone? Inquisitor, anyone? 
Necromunda, anyone? A lot of your game systems are niche. Space Hulk, even. The game that te technically launched your entire company is an afterthought to you. You've got to stop worrying about, we have to be the number one in this area, this area, this area, this area, this area, this area. This area. Go back to your fundamentals, right? Stop trying to master, okay, the Philly shell. Yeah, stop trying to master the Philly shell when you haven't even learned how to fucking jab. All right? Plain and simple. And... Case in point, your stories. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna lie. I have a metric ton of audible books. Okay, and I'm I'm literally gonna load up my audible right now as I'm talking to you. Okay. Go to my library. Okay. This is the amount of audiobooks that are all primarily 40k based. Are you understanding that are all primarily 40k based? Okay, from God Blight all the way up to all the, the Fibulous Bile stories, even that short one that was like 20 minutes long, where he's basically just stealing Horus's body. Yes, I even bought that one. You conned me out of that one for a 20 minute audiobook that's a fucking naff. The, the, the audio acting in it was a joke. But anyway, um, point is. There's some glaring issues within those story arcs. Like, you're bringing back Lionel Johnson, okay? Well, the lion never had beef with Agron. You brought back Mortarian. As much as I'm a huge Death Guard fan, I have a Mortarian model. I have Mortarian. I have Games Workshop's Mortarian. He's sitting on my painting desk. Okay, I have Mortarian. As much as I am a huge Mortarian fan, why did you bring back Mortarian when you could have brought back the Phoenician? When you could have brought back Fulgrim? Because Fulgrim's the one who killed, yes, killed. Reboot Gilliman. Right across the throat. Put him in stasis, as they say. Wouldn't have it made sense for the Indominus Crusade to come back and it be against Fulgrim? Since how Fibulus has recloned the Phoenician? And yes, granted, that clone is now in the, in 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 the 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 the, the collection of of trades in the infinite. But the point is, they've got fresh gene gene seed, unmutated gene seed, enough to start a new legion. Would it not? Would it not have made sense to have used Fulgrim and 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 and? The Emperor's Children. Instead of the Death Guard. Or you could have launched. Ferris Manus. You could have relaunched. The Space Wolves. Taking on. You know. I mean. He's already there. You've, 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 you've got. The Primark, Demon Primark for the Thousand Sons. You know. You relaunch the avatar of Cain and that's it for the Eldar range nothing else in the Eldar range has been refreshed as far as I, I know Screaming Banshees need some love Eldar Guardians need some love your Farseers as much as they are beautiful models need a little slight update The jet bike models are how old? Hmm? You complain that 3D modelers have may managed to make equal to, if not better, proxies than your current Space Marine range. So you say, let's make them bigger. The Primaris Marine. It's not the point. 
we can now make Primaris Marines. You don't get it, do you, GW? Stop competing with yourself. Because that's exactly what you're doing. You're competing with yourself. We're your fans. All we're trying to do is tell you, look, this is what we want. We would like this instead of that. But you're not listening to us. I used to work for you assholes. I was there when your sales pitch propaganda stuff changed. I think it was in fourth edition, third edition or fourth edition 40k. Where it was just shortly after the new plastic space marines come out. That's that's how long ago it was. Okay. And I was an initiate. I was a scout salesman. That should tell you how long ago. I'm not sure if they still do that system. Where you wear t-shirts that say like scout and sale and sales initiate and whatnot. And my roommate at the time, Kenny. Love you, Ken. Shout out to you, buddy was working a really good job and I knew for a fact that he wanted was it 10 kings anyway I knew he was looking at dropping 400 pounds worth for new miniatures now back in the 90s that was a lot of fucking plastic okay we're talking four or five big shopping bags worth of plastic yeah and I was working on sales commissions at that time are you seeing the point I'm trying to make here? Good. So I saw him come in on his lunch break, waved him over, started getting his products, and the manager taps him on the shoulder and says, Dan, go, go serve that customer over there. I'm like, they've been here for like 45 minutes staring at two blister packs. They're not going to buy anything. They're just killing time while their kids are in like Forever 21 or something. But manager told me, so I've got to go do it. Fine. Kenny? So and so would like to uh, serve you. Went over to the gun. Like, Excuse me, sir. Can I help you? Oh, nothing. So I'm, I'm just looking. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, if you have any questions, I'll be right over here. And I literally had to shadow that man. Hound him. While my roommate, who knew what he wanted, was being told repeatedly by the other salesperson, no, 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 you don't want that, you want this. No, 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 you don't want that, you want this. No, no. And even he got angry and said, you know what, I'm not buying a fucking thing. And then just puts the stuff down and leaves. Because of the aggressive sales tactics. The next day, my day off, I walked in the shop with my friend Kenny and we, we got everything he wanted. I missed out on the sales commission. He missed out on getting the miniatures he wanted. He missed out on... I missed out on a lot. He missed out on a lot. Eventually, he got what he wanted. And even my sales manager was like, you just can't stay away from here, can you, Dan? And I'm like, well, my friend, my roommate here, who was here yesterday, who I was serving, and you told me to go serve someone else, asked to specifically have me help him through and around the shop. I know for a fact that there were several, several managers, several managers and several sales assistants and district managers that hated that sale, that new, that new sales promotion and, and tactics that you guys put out. And how many stores do you have now in London? How many did you close? Hmm. Hmm. Exactly. Because you're fighting with yourself. This is the problem with big chains like McDonald's, Starbucks, uh, Nero Coffee, Greg's. Uh, 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 doesn't matter. I understand that you want to serve the customers, but you're going to get to the point that, like Starbucks is issue. There's every Starbucks. There's a Starbucks on every fucking corner. Okay. Well, the problem is. When one Starbucks is not meeting their sales goals, another one is exceeding. Why is, why is that? Why is that? Why is that? If they're all the same company, if they're all following the same procedures, 
Shouldn't they all be doing the same amount of sales? One of these things just doesn't belong here. Anyway. Sorry guys, I'm going to have some of my breakfast. Mm. But that's my point. That's exactly my point. Even in the story arcs of your game systems, you're fighting yourself. There's so many different stories that you could have done better. I understand you've got this great... Someone at GW has this grand vision. But how many times have you retconned stories? I mean, Godblight, the audiobook, Godblight, in it, it says that oh this has been retconned from this retcon from that retcon from this retcon so the fact that you are retconning your own stuff something tells me that the left hand that the left hand doesn't know what the right hand's doing. And that is not a good thing to do or to have in a company that's worth millions, if not billions. Okay? Instead of refreshing all your miniatures ranges, maybe you want to refresh your management structure, especially in the story department. Just saying. Anyway, ah, coffee's almost done, and this is nowhere near as long as the other video, so that's good. But um, yeah, I do apologise, guys, about the previous video. Uh, we are almost at 500 subscribers. I'm like totally blown away by that. Thank you so much, guys. It means so much to me. Almost 500 subscribers. It's just me talking to a camera with a microphone, and you know waffling on about stories you guys are absolutely amazing and thank you so much and here's to hopefully the next 500 subscribers and so yes as my daughter says dad you're the best mm. coffee's gone which means the video is done okay guys keep just fine keep your enemies dying Cobra commander is out and i'll see you guys on the tap on the battlefield and the tabletop